Hi, we're Toby and Abby. This week's video is a bit different as you'll see what we get up to without the bus. Right, bus is going to it's the mechanics to get fixed and then it's going to get sprayed. So that's why we've got it outside. Gives us a good chance to build all the cabinetry, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got a kitchen unit to build. We've got overhead storage to build. It's quite exciting to see it like outside, because we can imagine what it might look like when it's finished now. It hasn't been outside in so long. Exciting stuff. We've just followed the bus to where it's going to get sprayed and I don't think we actually updated you on us trying to start the bus yesterday. Long story short, we, Tobe, cut a cable that we didn't mean to cut and it was part of the electrics from under the seat that connected to the fuse box so the engine was running over really nicely but it wasn't actually like kicking into starting and it just cost £600 to fix that which is great and now we're at where the bus is going to get sprayed so it'll be here for a couple of weeks and it literally hasn't rained for like three weeks and the one day the bus is outside and it's got that massive hole in the side of the wall and all the holes in the roof is the one day that it's literally chucking it down with rain but i can see tobin there now maybe i should help all as well, hopefully. The insulation that we spent like two weeks putting in isn't just ruined. But yeah. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Oh my God. Careful. Could we have something like that, but just so the bolts at the back were clipped? If you get what I mean. What's that? Like if it was like that, but those bolts were clippable. I don't, still I don't know how we fixed them down. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Look at their little starlights. <laughs> it looks like I don't move or get out of the car, but we're, <laughs> we're now at another scrapyard trying to find like a folding passenger seat. Um, one that clips so that when we go in through the side door, we can pull it up and like push it forward, if that makes sense without it like getting in the way of the entrance with a normal one that was back on Unwind tracks and we wouldn't be able to get through the side door very well. Um, but it's absolutely tracking it down. So Tove's gone out to investigate <laughs> and I'm sitting in the car. Someone probably just saw me talking to myself. <laughs> I'm getting kind of freaked out because I can hear them I don't really know where he's gone now and it's pouring rain but yeah this is what I can see bit soggy bit soggy <laughs> no luck we need to look for a Citroen Picasso seat apparently oh. they've all got them in on to the next during both of our van builds we've definitely noticed that the build takes up about 90% of your thoughts we call this a bad case of bus on the brain. Uh, units and cabinets. <laughs> Nothing's open. So, let's try somewhere else. No. Our search for an open pub failed, so we took some beers down to the beach. Holy, <laughs> uh... 
We did some wild swimming in Scotland last summer and this is our attempt at our first swim of the year. Using rack to play, really, really thick. It comes out like not. Won't stiff, but it is. Good for the lungs as well. Good for the lungs. <laughs> So we're just cleaning down a few more bits that we're going to split, splay. We're going to splay them. <laughs> we're going to spray black. We were just looking at this and we took another cover off. It had something else over it and it's found a very retro pattern underneath. It's really snazzy. But we're thinking we, that was just a test of us spraying it black to see what it looked like, but it still looks a bit rubbish. So we're probably just going to get as close as we can going around the edges. And then when it comes to something like this near the end, like if we have a spare bit of curtain fabric, then we'll cut it out and stick it over. Cut it out. Cut it out and stick it over. We got there. Pizza night. <laughs> <laughs> night. So we have just picked up our passenger seat um, <laughs> from Marlow, which is quite nice because we can see my dad. Um, who lives a couple of minutes down the road, so it is in the back there. It's a Ford, what is it, Transit Tornio custom seat and it folds up really nicely forwards, which is what we need for the bus. So yeah, yeah I'm really happy with that and we got it really cheap as well, so we're buzzing. £130 and we, we couldn't find one for less than like 350 so, and it's almost brand new, it's perfect, so. Happy, happy day. Traffic. Yeah, we're stuck in traffic. So we thought we'd do a little update. We've got the passenger seat in the back. And we are on the way to look at some mattresses because we can't decide whether to go. Like a nice chunky mattress and we'll go a few centimetres of like the window at the end of the bed or to have a slightly skinnier one and have some more like height. So that's what we're trying to decide, aren't we? We are.
morning. 7.30 in the morning, we thought we'd get an early start today um, and just show you what we've done so far. That was too hot. Right, so we managed to finish up these door cards and a couple of like interior trim accessories as well. The other day, we've done them black and they've come up really nicely. We've got these, which hold the blind, like the front blind to the front window. That's right on the back step. This. So we wrapped to painted this, which is like a textured, um, heavy duty paint. It is brilliant. So you'll see, you see little bits of red in here. We're going to fill those in with just some black spray paint because you'll never see it. Um, but they really do look, there's a couple of little drip marks, but you can't really see them. And it, it really does go like hard plastic. Awesome. So plan for this week is to build our kitchen. So what we've done is the, because the bus is away for the next two weeks getting painted, we've pulled out the floor, which is here, and the walls, wall even. So we've got all our measurements so we can fit it against this and just make sure it all fits. When the bus comes back, we'll fit all that first. Then we can fit our kitchen unit up against it. Sorted out all our wood. Got a massive wood delivery. So yeah, it's all good. No, so we've just built one of our um, overhead storage cabinets, the carcass for it. Basically, we will have an LED that sits in here like this. So, as we've got our, where's our bit of roof? Up, not only can we use this support here to drill up into our roof battens to hold the weight from the top, but we've got that, so we'll have a really nice effect of the LED light shines over the roof. It'll come over from both sides. So that'll be our top spacer, just like that, which will be a birch ply as well, leaving a little gap so you won't see the LED. It'll be hidden, but you'll see a nice little gap for the light to come through. And then our doors, these aren't the doors, but our doors will sit nice and snug like that and open like this over the top. We'll route out a nice slot in the bottom and we'll fit our LED in there, flush with the wood. So it's gonna shine down, so we'll have some really nice kind of lighting, like task lighting um, around the bus as well. Oh.
Kinder. So I thought I would do a quick update in case it doesn't make much sense what we're doing because obviously we don't have the bus at the minute. We're focusing on building the cabinets because obviously we took loads of measurements before it went and our fridge and our oven arrives tomorrow and we've already got our sink and our tap. So after that we can basically build out all of the units and the kitchen and then when it arrives we'll put it all in. Right, so you got a new toy. <laughs> What are we doing? Um, we just bought three testers for the paint for the cabinets and the ceiling. We're going to see which one we like best. So we've just been out today to pick our mattress. We're quite lucky that we have a man called Dan. Called Dan, who works in a mattress company. So he's uh, very kindly helped us out and um, sorted us out with a really nice mattress, as you've seen. And we're just walking the dogs around the field, and over the next week we'll be building the units properly. Yeah. So and stay tuned. Keep watching, <laughs> please. Roll the bloopers. Bye. I don't think we actually updated you guys on what happened with the yesterday because the bus was due, well we were due to, let me start again, but yeah, if I explain that really badly, yeah, walk my jeep, and Tobe just lost at the, uh, I went on holiday with me and I brought, <laughs> <laughs> car game, so yeah, that's the update for y'all. <laughs> See ya. Pirate Park. <laughs> Something like that. Right. Thank you for watching this week's video. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>